Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at adding a dark mode toggle to your website created with Material UI. All the code that I shared today will be in a GitHub repository that I will link down in the description below. Without further ado, let's get into it. So this is what we're going to be creating today. As you can see, I've just got a Vite app created. It's pretty much exactly as you get out of the box when you create a React app with Vite. All I've added in is this toggle on top. And as you can see, you can click on the toggle button and we can switch between dark mode and light mode. I've also changed this to a material UI button instead of the uh, default button that was already in the code. So let's have a look at how we can do this. In the main.tsx file, which is the equivalent as index.tsx file if you're using create react app, we've got our app set up and you can see I've wrapped the app in this theme context provider. This is not to be confused with the theme provider that comes from material UI. The theme provider that comes from material UI is being used inside the app.tsx file as you can see here, we've got the theme provider that's taking a theme from this use theme context. And then we've got the night mode toggle, which is this component right here. And then we've got the home component, which is everything else. And then the closing theme provider tag. So let's go ahead and look at what's inside this theme context provider. I've created a folder called theme. And within this folder, I've added in this file for theme context provider. In here, there's a few different things that we need. I've set up a type. Um, which is the context type. So this has a mode, which is string, a function called toggle color mode, and a theme, which is a theme type imported from material UI. We then create a react context uh, using create context, and we assign it to this variable called theme context. We put some default values in here, so we will default it to light. There is an empty function and a empty theme for these two. This doesn't really matter because on load, we will populate this with something else anyway. This is just to avoid us having to have something like undefined so that we don't need to set anything up. I prefer to just have something in there than doing something like this. So let's just leave that as it is for now. And then we've got a theme context provider, which is a function component that just uses the props with children you will need to do this if you're not on react 18 from react 18 onwards you need to use this type uh, so that you can use the children property this allows you to use the provider and pass in any children i.e your entire application and it will go inside of the provider that you've created so in here we will call on the use color theme hook and get the value from there and then apply that to the provider's value we'll take a look at what's inside this use color theme in a second and then we've created this hook here, which um, is called use theme context, and it just returns the use context of this theme. This means we can use this throughout the application to get the values stored within this context without having to use context every single time and import the context into that file. So let's go ahead and look at what's inside this use color theme. So inside this hook, you can see I've got a state variable called mode and I've got set mode. And it's just use state, which defaults to this light property. And it's of type palette mode, which is from material UI. And it can either be light or dark. The function for toggle color mode is just a callback function, which sets the mode to either light or dark, depending on which one it is at the moment. So if the previous mode is light, then it will set it to dark. Otherwise, it will set it to light. We've then got a use memo, which changes whenever the mode changes. And every time this mode changes, we create a new theme which passes in that mode into the theme, essentially changing the mode from light to dark. I'm also importing the theme here. So as you can see, I'm importing from theme.tsx. Let's not worry about this for now. This is for something else later, but I've got this theme property and I've got palette primary. This is a typical material UI theme object that you'd expect to be setting in your theme. I've just brought it into this file so that I can just modify the mode and have everything else exactly the same. And then I return these three properties from this hook, theme, mode, and toggle color mode, as we've seen in the type here that this is what we're expecting. So as you can see, this is pretty straightforward. You can tell that when you change the mode from light to dark, it recreates the theme with that new mode enabled and still keeping in all of your other properties that you've got within your theme, including your your palette. So let's go ahead and look at how we're using this. So in the app.tsx file, we are calling on the theme context and we're getting this theme, which comes from the context and obviously comes from this hook as well. And we use that theme to pass it into the theme provider, which makes a change for us whenever we switch on this toggle. So this CSS baseline property is required as part of the material UI design when you want to change the background of the application when you're switching between 
light and dark mode as well if you don't have this enabled then you won't actually be able to change the background of this application as you can see it's only the material ui properties that are changing so we need this to affect the entire application and then within this night mode toggle this is a pretty simple component. I've got a box here with some CSS properties to just style the border of this box. Um, I've got the mode being outputted here. So light mode and dark mode. So that's the property coming from the use theme context, as you can see. And an icon button, which the on click function calls on the toggle color mode. And inside here, we've just got two different icons being shown based on whether the mode is dark or not. So if it's dark, then we show this icon. Otherwise, we show this icon. That. So it switches between the two. The important thing here is that this theme context is giving us the same value that we are using in the app.tsx file. If this wasn't in a context and we just called the hook multiple times, then we would just initialize the hook two different times and their values would not be in sync. This way I can put this night toggle mode anywhere in the application as long as it falls underneath this theme context provider and I'll be able to modify the theme object that comes out of this theme context here. So just to show you what I mean, if I also imported mode from here and I outputted mode in here, for example, you can see that it's coming in through here and if I change it, the value is changing even though these are two separate components and there you go it's as simple as that to set up light mode and dark mode within your application however if you want to take this a step further and change the palette between your light mode and dark mode then you can also use this option here instead so if i just comment this out and import this actually i need to uncomment this first I do get design tokens from here You'll be able to see that I can have a completely different color mode um, in my dark theme from my light theme. And this is used by using this uh, get designs tokens function, which is essentially just a function that returns the theme object, but taking in the mode as a property and having a condition to say if it's light mode, then I want to return these values. Otherwise, I want to return these values instead. So you can have multiple functions like this to make up different parts of your theme object so you could have another function to return you the movie components if you want to modify that as well but in this case we're just changing the palette and you can see here we are storing the theme in the user memo again but um, it changes whenever mode changes and we're just creating theme with this get designs tokens instead So that's pretty much it so if you have any questions then please let me know in the comment section down below i'll be happy to help out if you found this useful then please give the video a thumbs up uh, subscribe for more content like this and i'll see you in the next video